Thank you, Randy. And we'll go right back to our callers, James in Memphis, Tennessee, listening on WCRV. Hi, James. Hey, buddy. Oh, man, just praise the Lord for your ministry. It's it's outstanding. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh, yeah. Uh, my question, I'll, I'll put it out real quick. Um, when we're resurrected and uh, we have the new heaven and the new earth, uh, you know, the fallen one must have had free will. I'm wondering uh, when we meet our Lord and Savior, will we still have free will? Well, we will. And, and let me cash that out for you, James. It's a very, very good question. So let me give you three really quick points. First, we can be absolutely certain that we will not sin in heaven, even though we will have free will, because that's what the Bible teaches. So that's the first thing I would say. The second thing I would say quickly is that while in the present we are bombarded by the temptations of the world and the flesh and the devil, in Paradise Restored, the problem of sin and Satan is forever resolved, so there won't be a tempter. And thirdly, Think about this. In heaven, we're going to be actualized in righteousness, free to be what God intended us to be. And that doesn't rob us of freedom. That actualization is the quintessence of freedom. So we'll no longer struggle with a recalcitrant will, and our bodies will be every whit whole, and so will our will. So we will freely give up the freedom to sin in exchange for freedom from sin. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking my call, and and God bless your ministry. Hey, thank you, James. Appreciate your call. And by the way, in his infinite wisdom, the Holy Spirit inspired the human authors of the Word of God to illustrate that there is an unwaveringly faithful relationship between the Lord Jesus Christ and the church. And he does that through the analogy of marriage. The truly faithful, the truly devoted husband, well, he's not free to cheat on his wife. He simply can't bring himself to cheat on her. His love for her renders that kind of duplicity unthinkable. And do we consider that, that this kind of a husband is less free than one who is capable of unfaithfulness? Of course not. The faithful husband, in a way that is very unlike the unfaithful husband, is truly free to experience the joy and the pleasure of uninhibited intimacy and union with his wife. Jesus Christ is the singularly sinless. He is the freely faithful bridegroom of the church, and likewise in heaven, the church will be his holy and blameless bride, a bride freed forever from enslavement to sin, freed to enter through the narrow gate, well, freed to enjoy paradise restored.